In this video, we're going to look at our new Studio Mode added to Quick Queue in version 11. Studio Mode is now a new mode that goes alongside the existing Live and Theatre modes. If I jump into the console here and go to my Settings menu up here, under the Show Settings, I now have this third option for Studio Mode. Studio Mode, when I select it, will give me a warning. It will cause queues and other data in the show to be deleted. So you need to be aware of exactly what Studio Mode is doing. Studio Mode is designed exactly as it's named for simple studios. Uh, when I select and change into Studio Mode, you'll note at the moment that I have multi queue stacks. When I'm in Studio Mode, we limit the playbacks below the screen to single queue only faders. Studio Mode is, is designed for a small studio space. Uh, where you've maybe got 10 or so different presets which you'd use on your faders below the screen. In studio mode, you can't use queue stacks or chases. So you've got 10 different uh, single queues now below your screen here. On the home screen, you'll see this has changed uh, the top of the home button to indicate you are in studio mode. We also default a few other things in studio mode. We've now turned on a new option which is record all by default. So in our settings, we added in version 11 an option for record all to be on by default. Well, when you're in studio mode, that option is on all the time. Normally, the default of Quick Queue in live or theater mode, unless you've used this new option, is that we record what's in our programmer only. We don't record the output of the console. Now, in studio mode, you might have a playback up here. You might have something in the programmer where you've adjusted an intensity. And when you record a queue, we'll now snapshot the output of the console, not what's only in your programmer. Studio mode also enables our new studio color mixing mode by default. But when I select some fixtures, switch them on and go into my color picker, we're now in studio color picker mode uh, where I've got my selectable white point, green shift, etc., and color spaces on by default. Studio mode is ideal for exactly that, a small studio space uh, where you want to save 10 or so different presets. In studio mode, you can still use the left-hand faders on your Quick Queue console uh, to make use of those for fixture selection uh, or recording single queues onto these faders as, as well. So that's the new studio mode added in Quick Queue version 11 onwards.